Who was with you? Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. So, Corporal Clark, my pleasure. Nice to meet you. What? So, um, apparently, oh. Apparently, her license is suspended. For something. Doesn't tell us what for or why or where. That's something she's going to have to call DMV and find out. Right. Probably what happened is she had a speeding ticket. Some kind of traffic infraction. Never went to court. Didn't take care of it. Right. Um, That's the best guess. So, She's gone over to Fayette County Jail, which is right in the Fayetteville Square. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 145 Johnson Avenue. Yeah. Normally, I would say a couple hours is the process. It just depends on how busy they are and like that, okay? Um, the driving on the suspended is uh, basically a traffic citation. She's got to have her fingerprints done and picture taken, and then she can make her bonds. You can pay cash, use the bondsman, be 10%, whatever. Um, they've got a list of people over there, too, that... You can choose from and use whatever. So the vehicle's registered her, excuse me, registered to her. Um, I don't know if it was on a flock hit or if the officer observed some kind of traffic infraction. It wasn't me. I didn't make the traffic stop. He's already gone and got her going. Okay. So whatever the case may be, when you run the, the tag, it obviously gives us the vehicle information and the registered owner. Okay. And it's already in the system that she's has the invalid license. Yeah. Okay. So upon that, we just verify that it is that person driving or stop the car first at that point. We don't have to know it's them. It's general assumption that the registered owner is the driver of the vehicle. Yeah. You know, if you stop it and it's not, okay, have a nice day. But uh, yeah. in this case, she was. Yeah. So. Yep. So, just are the keys to the car here? Yes. So yeah, everything's here. Car? Yeah, oh, everything's in there. She has three numbers. I believe she gave. I said your number, a JC, and a third name. I didn't hear. She'll allow to make. Well, she allowed to get three phone calls when she gets to jail. Okay. Yeah. Once. We'll go, go, I'm gonna just park the car and then go. Once they get the process done, she can make a couple phone calls and call you guys and say, "Okay, I'm ready. This is how much it is. Whatever." I want to say off the top of my head, I think driving on suspended license is about twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. Somewhere right in that area. Every municipality's different, you know, give or take a little bit, but somewhere around there. So. Right. Um, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Well, apparently, her daughter, Fonnie Willis's daughter, who's uh, five months pregnant, was arrested. Now, according to some of the reports, they said she was quite kind and was not disrespectful. She didn't throw her mother's name around like some people do. But in this case, the funny part about it is that both she and Nathan Wade walked up there together even after she told everybody that they weren't dealing with each other at all. I find it quite curious that on August 24th, he was available and ready riding around with her. I don't know, but he was available and ready to go with her to pick up a vehicle. Does she have anybody else that could go with her to pick up her daughter's car and drive the other one? I don't know, but I do know that it's quite curious and it's brazen at the same time in complete and utter funny Willis fashion. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. You've heard my reaction and what I think about it. I want to know what you think. Don't forget to be respectful down in the comments, share, like, and subscribe. Take care, everybody. Hey everyone, it's me, Felicia, of the Lockhart Perspective and Headlines with a Voice. I want to tell you a little secret. This is what I used to do, because I don't do it anymore. I would go to the store, buy the barbecue sauce, pour it inside of a bowl, put a whole bunch of different spices, a dash of brown sugar, a dash of maple, and a dash of mustard, stir it all around, and everybody would be like, oh my gosh, this is the best, this is the best. But I was exhausted after all of that, and a lot of times I couldn't remember how many dashes of what I put in it. But I don't have to do that anymore because now I just go to Judge Joe Brown's website and I order his three pack of bottled barbecue sauce. It is by far the best. And I do mean the best barbecue sauce I've ever eaten. And when you go to his website and you order his three pack, you'll see exactly what I mean. Head on over to JJBBBQ.com and order Judge Joe Brown's barbecue sauce. You'll be glad you did. And you're going to tell me about it. I know you will. Like a perspective